hi everyone welcome to this video in this video we will discuss another important topic in power portals last time i have uploaded the video 10 common customizations that we do for power portals if you have not watched go and watch this video i have uploaded and uh, once you have done this you have watched this now we will see how we can display dynamics 365 entity informations as a list on power portal pages right now if your uh, business is telling that uh, they need to show the uh, entity information in a list on portal page then how to do that because the data that you are displaying on the portal is public to all right if you have not implemented proper authorization or authentication anyway we will cover that authentication and authorization in later part but uh, this time I will just show you how to display a public entity list or a list of records from Dynamics entity on the portal page. Okay. So the first thing, first thing, first, first we have to go to Power Apps and we will go to the entity for which I want to display the list of records. So first we will go to Tables. First we have to create a view for that entity so that i can use that view as a entity list in my portal so i want to display case record so i will go to here i'll filter all and i can search here case for quick navigation okay i can go down to check case information so I have to change the environment. Uh, this is a very important thing. If you not change your environment, then you will not get your uh, enterprise data items or CDS data items. Now I can search here case. Now this is my table, right? Now once I opened this table, this entity, previously it was called as an entity, I will go to views and I will create a new view that will be used for my entity list i will click on add view and give a name here my portal view let's say and give a description this description this view will be used for portal for example now i'll click on create as soon as I will click create, it will allow me to add specific fields on that view for which you want to display on your entity list. Now the case title is automatically added. Now I want some more uh, field like case number. I want to drag and drop here and I will put on the first column and the case title and the customer. Okay. now I can drag and drop here so I want to display these three information case number customer and case title and one more status okay so I will just drag and drop the case stage or I can go down here uh, to check case status so we can drag the case stage to see in which stage the case is okay now once no so this is not the actual field I am so remove it I want to short the status of the case so click on this all and I'll go down to check the status So this is the status I can drag here and drop on the view now once I have dropped this I am done now I will save and publish now the first stage is done we have created a specific view that will be used for my portal now I, I can publish it now once this stage is done the second stage is we have to go to uh, the power app studio okay 
so that I can create a new web page so that I can place this entity list uh, the view inside a entity list control okay now let the view publish successfully it is still publishing you can see right top corner it's still loading so once it is published I will go to power up studio now here I want to add a new page because I want to display my entity list on a new page if you want to use your entity list in an existing page you can go ahead otherwise you can create your new page let me create a new page click on blank okay and here I will give a name here cache information the new page name cache records okay now the partial URL is the uh, URL for uh, URL of the uh, web page that will be uh, used for the address let's say case info or case records and I will use the formatting default studio template okay now I will so once it is saved I can use this page to show my entity list okay now I will go here click on component and click one sex one column section right there is a section layout you can use two column section three column section but I want to to use a one column section so that I can display my entity list so click on this column so in this column I will uh, mention something like uh, text now in the text I will type something all case records from dynamics 365 now I can change this size okay now here in the next column I will drag and drop another control called a list this is important this is the list which will be used to display a set of records from dynamics on the portal page now click on this here you will find there is two options create new list or create existing list as I have not created any entity list in power portal so we have to create a new list if you have already created any list already use this second option so click on this create new give a name uh, let's say case entity list now here you have to choose for which entity you want to display the list so the entity is case so dragon so uh, scroll down to search case so this is my entity now here in this view selection you will find all the views that will be listed here you have to search your specific view that we have just created so my view name was uh, what is the view let me go down to check the view name was uh, my portal view so I will come here and select this my portal view I have selected this now once it is selected I will click on save and click on synchronize configuration now I will browse website now automatically the data will be displayed as a list so once the sync configuration is done sync progress is done I will click on browse website and I will see if I am able to see the records or not see all the records of the case entity is displaying here okay and the paging is also enabled for you so this is very easy uh, displaying an entity list on a portal page using and views first then entity list and the entity list will associate the view that is created in dynamics 365 now I will give you some more information on entity list by creating new records view records all that in next sessions so thank you guys for watching this 
stay tuned to this channel and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will get notified immediately when i will upload videos thank you see you next time